Neredesin küçük kız? Seni bulamıyorum. Neredesin? <gülüyor> You already know what it is. It's your boy Laid Back with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey, TikTok, you up to bat. Bah. It's your boy Laid Back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we got to do. You got to hit that subscribe button. I'm drinking this water. You already know what it is, man. Elevate more in 2024. Elevate more in 2024. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you get the notification bell. Stay up to date with all the videos. We back with another one. Make sure you hit that like button, man, when you strolling here. <sighs> Some more TikTok conspiracy theory. Scary, creepy. You know, if you make it to the end of this one, you a real one for real. I gotta say that. I be seeing a lot of y'all in the comments. Shout out to you. Also, do your own research. I gotta say that. Do your own research. But... I also got a TikTok playlist if you want to go through binge watch and just kick back. You got some time on your hands. It'll definitely open your mind to some stuff. But let's go ahead and get into it. Fire Squad was popping. Let's get it. Why do you think TD Jakes was at Puff Daddy's birthday party? Mm. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I just, I, <laughs> you know. Laughing. Do you remember when Bernie Mac played the minister in Friday? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel about T.D. Jakes. Ooh. Like, that's how I see. Oh, Miss Parker, come to pray. Oh. I, I but for him to be at a Diddy party? I don't know. Like, I... I feel the same way about that as I feel about when Tyler Perry came to his church and laid hands on him and he caught the Holy Spirit from Tyler Perry. Mm. Tyler Perry is the bishop of what? <laughs> like, I've never, like, and I cut a check for a hundred and I'm going to lay my hands on your bishop. And he said, uh, uh. <laughs> and then the bishop said, it's on the fucking internet. He's, ah, he's doing all of this, right? Stop and then there's it. a woman on, on, the, on the dais. Screaming, push the baby out. Birth that baby. Push the... I'm like, are we at church? What is going if on? If Bishop Jakes was at a Diddy party, there could only be two reasons. Money or sex. Ooh. That's all that happens at Diddy parties. Money and sex. I, I, just... I hope it was for money. Mm. Charitable contribution. I hope it was for money because arguing about who's going to put the strap on on is that can be a very uncomfortable situation. You know, we gonna pray on it. Praise the Lord. You know? Amen. Wow. Well. Well. Wow. In the oceans, uh -huh. that's how you get to the outer realms. Uh -huh. So the real outer space is beyond the Antarctica and deep within our oceans. That's why if you look at their out of space missions, they're actually in water floating around in water somewhere in Las Vegas, Nevada, Levada, and deep in uh, the Colorado. They ain't out of space. That's why if you look, it's so many people now putting up showing that these these space shuttle missions is fake as hell, man. Mm -hmm. Show, showing really? mm -hmm. that they ain't never been out of space. If you really want to go out of space, get your ass in a submarine and go deep within the water. That's the true out of space. And there's so many different alien bases and military base underwater and in the actual ground they're hollowing out mountains now they're in they're hollowing out mountains this is you can google this mm. and they're making inside of mountains underground bunkers and underground military bases mm -hmm. so if they're doing that to the mountains imagine what they're doing underground in, in space water. in the water so if you want to go outer space go deep <laughs> go deep sea diving you said it's aliens <laughs> Yeah, aliens. And all alien mean is, so Elyon is a Hebrew word. That's where they get aliens from. It's really El Elyon. Uh -huh. And that just means of the Most High God. Uh, mm. Technically, we are aliens. Gotcha. And that's why they studying us. That's why they stealing our melanin. Uh -huh. That's why they trying to understand the functioning of our biological vehicles. That's why they can't understand our circadian rhythm, our mm. biological clocks. We are, diff we are the most different species of humans 
that the planet ever, ever, ever had. Mm -hmm. We're so different than them. Our teeth are shorter than theirs. Their teeth are wider and longer. Mm -hmm. Their canines are longer than our canines. That hydrochloric acid inside their stomach is hotter than ours. You're talking about white people. You're talking about white people. Huh. They produce a acidic enzyme in their mouth. We produce an alkaline enzyme in our mouth called amulase and ambulose and trypsin. They can break down proteins and meats. Our stomachs can't break down proteins and meats because the pepsin and the hydrochloric acid doesn't get hot enough to break it down. They, they digest the system can go through something called putrefactions or can't mm -hmm. ours go through something called fermentation uh, a lot of them grow tails they hair grow towards the earth or towards the ground our grow it curls and it grows towards the sun mm -hmm. we have high melanin content inside of our melanin we have something called selenium they have low melanin content inside their melanin they have something called ammonia mm -hmm. and they have a high sulfur con concentration inside their cells and that's why when they get hot they actually, when it get hot outside, they get colder. Or if it get cold outside, they get hotter. That's why you can see a white man running in Daisy Duke shorts in, in the middle of the winter when it's 20 below freezing. He That'd got on crazy. a tank top and, and he hot. That'd or, be crazy. <laughs> or when they get hot and they get around water, it changes in the sulfur mixed with ammonia and it gives off this, this actually uh, canine smell. And that's why they say they smell like wet dogs. You see what I'm <laughs> Look at Buddy in the back. Look at Buddy in the back, man. This is all scientifically proven. That was a lot. Truth Hidden in TV Shows, Part 4. The show we're going to talk about today is a well-known kids cartoon by the name of Teen Titans Go. On Season 4, Episode 17, titled Master Detective, this episode, Robin and the Teen Titans go on a mission to figure out what happened to all the animals outside the tower. When they went deep enough underground, they ran into an even bigger problem, which was the head of the Illuminati. My mm. question is, why would this be in a kid's show in the first place? Sad thing is, this isn't even the only one. It's sad that they put this in kids' shows to try and normalize it for the next generation. Everyone knows them as this so-called secret society who runs the world. Without further ado, let me show y'all this clip and y'all let me know what y'all think about it in the comments. I suppose there's no harm in walking you through our plan for world domination. We did work hard on it. It all starts here, with the banks. We don't care about the bank. Now talk! Where are the animals? Really? I don't know. I'll stop all our domination plans. I'll pull my lizard men out of Congress. We'll stop what? using Hollywood lizard to man. hasten the New World Order. Just let me go. What? In a kid's show. So for the first three days you're there, there's no showering. They put you in a circle, which is a, it's a TP. It's a little TP, but it's open. And you have to sit there for three days. They wouldn't let me lay down for nothing. Like, I was falling asleep and they were like, uh-uh, get up, get up. So I'm just sitting here, like, this for three is really days? bad. When I seen these people have no sympathy, I was like, oh, I'm really, like, I'm really doomed. They strip you from your whole personality. You have to act like just whoever they want you to act like. They told me, okay, these are what your chores are gonna be. I don't remember what they were, but they were like, these are what your chores are gonna be. This is what you're gonna be doing. Here's your level one binder. You do the same thing every day, chop wood, take care of the animals. What? This place is all about taking away privileges. Like, okay, yeah, the phone is a privilege, TV, like all that. But they take away like necessity privileges, like sleeping on a bed, eating good food, not being cold. What is she talking about? Where is she went to? This video has been published on the dark web Whoa. with the title, The Dark Web is the Only Truth. In this video, we see a man celebrating his birthday but nothing scary. But in the description, it says that this man would be 171 years old what? and that he would have undergone several experiments to get to this point. What do you think? 171? Looking like that? This is the truth about the beginning that no one told you. Most people would have heard the story of creation about Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. But I bet you didn't know this hidden side to the story. When God first created Adam and Eve, all of heaven and earth watched it happen. You see, Adam actually means dust because God formed man out of the dust of the earth and then breathed life into him. And then Eve, his wife, means bring forth of life because she was given that ability as a woman. God gave Adam and Eve and all of humanity through them full dominion over all of the earth. That's when Satan tricked Eve to disobey God. And when Eve obeyed Satan and not God and then got her husband to do the same, sin entered the world. But this is the crazy part. All the dominion and authority that they had was given to the devil the moment they obeyed him. That's why when the devil was tempting Jesus, he said to Jesus, the glory of this world was his to give. That's why the devil's the god of this world. And to reverse this, Jesus came. Subscribe if you love Jesus. Plain and simple.
There's a whole theory where um every Disney princess is supposed to represent a disorder. Wait, what? What do you mean? Yeah, so Whoa. a psychologist took a study down yeah. and they said in every Disney princess, there's like a clear disorder that they have. You, you mean know? like like mental disorder? Yeah, mental disorder. Oh, so Ariel. I ain't never yeah. heard this. If you notice, Ariel has a big ship and there's so much things around her, mm -hmm. right? So she's a hoarder and that's a form of OCD. Is that OCD? Yeah, it's OCD in the form of hoarding. So uh, okay, okay. an easy one, Alice from Wonderland. Wonderland. What do you think she has, bro? It's, this is so easy. She sees caterpillars walking around with oh, eyes. Oh, so schizophrenia. Schizophrenia. And then uh, Belle, she Whoa. was captured and put in a castle, right? Yeah. So this is called uh, Stockholm Syndrome. So that means you fall in love with your captor. She felt she got captured. She fell in love with the, the beast because he was the only one exactly. there. Exactly. And the easiest mm. one, oh, Elsa and Anna. What do you think they have? So they're really reckless. Oh, Elsa has bipolar. Yes. <laughs> Elsa, yeah, she has bipolar. 100%. I, yeah. I just saw that on fly. Elsa and Anna, warm to cold, bipolar. Damn. Yeah. Thoughts in the comments. Video captured today when the ocean caught fire in the Gulf of Mexico, just west of the Yucatan Peninsula. What? Most dramatic images of the ocean aflame quickly going viral on social media. Some people calling it an eye of fire, while others said it looked like the portal to hell opening up. The portal to hell opening up. That's crazy. Pemex, the Mexican state-run oil company, says an underground natural gas pipeline sprung a leak that caused that mid-ocean fire. A number wow. of firefighting boats pump water onto the fire for nearly five hours until it was eventually extinguished they put out a I'll fire the truth, on the ocean the oil platform nearby fire on the ocean sounds crazy i always thought it was weird how in the movie cars the doors never open on the cars so like i looked it up and apparently the creative director of the actual movie gave an answer to this jay ward what he said his answer was you'll never see the car doors open because we don't want to see the brains and eyes fall out Jeez. yeah i was shocked by that so that means like their insides of the cars are actual flesh right the seats are organs right they're like a biological organism yeah i mean you see the eyes blinking you see the mouth talking it's coming straight from the car and it gets even weirder he goes on to say the cars got so advanced through the technological advancements of AI when they were learning to self-drive and all that. Oh, Elon's Tesla. Yeah, like, <laughs> something like that. And they got so intelligent, these cars, that the last person that drove that car merged with the technology of the car, and the car took on its personality, the person's personality. And they became one? They became like a human, but a car. That's why it's all flesh inside. That's why it has eyes Come and on, talks. Man. And the personality of the person it adapted from is who they are. So maybe Lightning McQueen's Jeff Gordon. That was terrible. Now we know that they've been lying to us about everything, right? She everything. Like a preacher. But somebody got some explaining to do. Okay? How could nine times any number? Nine. Hmm? What? Any number you multiply by nine, the answer is still nine. What in the world? They've been hiding so much from us. Now it's getting deep, y'all. It's something with these numbers, okay? There's something behind these numbers. How is that so? How could it be? Nine times nine is 81. 81. Eight plus one is nine. Nine times two is 18. 18. One plus eight is nine. And it goes on and on. It does not matter what number you use it's still gonna be nine it's still gonna be nine it's not just nine times one equals nine no it's nine times any number it's nine that's mind blowing y'all that's mind blowing they've been lying a lot it's getting deep <laughs> it's getting deep y'all somebody gonna have to explain that to me so go ahead and work it out Go ahead and try it on your calculator. 
I don't care what number you use. The answer is still nine. How is that so? <sighs> Calm down. I gather myself, honey. Oh my gosh, because they've been hiding the truth from us. And what about the 144 that speaks of, that they speak of in the Bible? The 104 before thousand. 144. One plus four is five. Plus four is nine. Nine. 144,000. Somebody got to explain that to me. Make it make sense to me. Make it make sense to me. She's stressing out over nine. In the comments, tell me how that is so. Tell me how that is so. Because I need to know. I need to know, y'all. I need to know why is it that everything you multiply times nine, the answer is still nine. I just want to know. Hmm? Put it in the comments. Hey, help a sister out. Help a sister out. Because numbers mean something. They mean something, y'all. Whether y'all believe it or not, they mean something. Put it in the comments. Try it and see. She made a TikTok right before he came in with the groceries. Last time we saw you, Diane Simmons had just stabbed you in the back with a knife. Yeah, how the hell did you come back to life? Well, gentlemen, sometimes being a big Hollywood star has its advantages. Family guy exposes how Hollywood celebs can live forever. Hey, is this guy somebody? Yeah, that's James Woods. We got a celebrity here. I repeat, this is not a normal dead person. This is a celebrity. Wow. The famous movie star entitled me to top-notch medical care, not available to the rest of society. My body was immediately taken to the Hollywood hospital, where I was hooked up to a 17-year-old entrepreneur. What? And in accordance with Hollywood law, her life force was infused into me. What? From the dead. Well, I'm not a girl. And I threw her out of her window with Nora Ever. Me personally, I think this actually happens. Especially with all the weird theories about Hollywood already, I wouldn't even doubt for a second that this isn't real. Or real to some extent. And if I'm not mistaken, I think I heard Orlando Brown speak on something like this. Let me know what y'all thoughts is on this in the comments. Take somebody's life and give it to you. This rapper didn't sell his soul, that's why they came for him. You know the whole like selling your soul yeah. If you don't do that, they'll kill you right away or they'll just put you in jail, right? Mm. Because if you really bag it, look, so Tory Lanez. <laughs> Tory, whose real name is Daystar Peterson, was sentenced to 10 years in prison for firing a gun at Meg and leaving her with bullet fragments in Everybody her feet. The Tory Lanez one is interesting because he went independent. Yeah, and right after he went independent, then all this shit started happening to him. Yeah, exactly. They took every single avenue away from me. They took the playlist in away from me. They took every single thing they could take away from me. You know what I did? I immediately went to playing. He was one of the first to like really dip out mm -hmm. and then make the million dollars no label. Yeah. Straight off the bat. Like right off the bat. But look, this is where it's crazy. So he says this. Illuminati. You have to put him in jail. Damn. And the whole wicked system of rock nation, yeah. including you, Jay-Z. Yes. Yes. You who yes. say yes. you rose from the gutter, but you have traded and bartered the souls of young men and you're still doing it but i'm not gonna uh, get into that i'm not gonna yeah, get into yeah, that yeah i know i know i know you know what i mean yeah shit. by the way this video is scripted and for entertainment purposes only stay weird like some of that stuff got cut out or something sometimes there are secrets that need to be kept secret but this particular issue is so important to you as citizens of this country and as citizens of the human race, members of the human race and citizens of this planet that there's nothing more important than that and I purposely and intentionally violate my oath with a good feeling because I believe Whoa. that not only do you people have a need to know, you have a right to know because you're the ones that are paying the bills. And I'm a believer in the constitutional system. I see the constitutional system being stomped upon. I see that document which is so precious to us being ignored. And the time has come.
for we, the people of this country, to reclaim our rights, reclaim our Constitution, and damn well force the government that we are supporting and paying the bills for to own up, fess up, and finally, after over 40 years, tell us the damn truth about this issue. What's the issue? I think I'm preaching to the choir here, and it's a good feeling. Thank you. <clears throat> it's also important that you understand who I am and where I came from and how I came to be here. I spent most of my adult life as a professional soldier. I spent 27 years on active duty in the United okay. States Army. And for most of those years, I was in the infantry. I was in special operations, special assignments. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a fact that I have been places I should not have been, and I have done things I should not have done. But I served my country loyally, and I still believe in my country, and I love my country, and I love the Constitution. And that's, frankly, the primary reason I'm here. When they published it in 1964, I said there was only 15 copies. One copy went, copy number one, went to the Secretary General of NATO. Copy number two went to General Lyman Lemnitzer, who was the Supreme Allied Commander. Copy number three was assigned to the Shock Operations Center, and that's the one I got a chance to read over and over and over again. The other copies were distributed throughout the military headquarters to major military commanders from the various nations. There were copies in French and German and in English. He but what was fast, this huh? document that stirred so much up there in shape in 1964? Let me tell you basically what the major conclusions were. Number one, and this is a real grabber. <clears throat> the planet Earth, and apparently the entire human race, is and has been the subject of an extensive, intensive, and massive survey and examination by several, remember, several, extraterrestrial high-technology civilizations. What? And this survey has been extremely thorough and detailed. Wow. Number two, these civilizations have demonstrated not only high intelligence, but an extremely advanced technology that may possibly be hundreds, if not thousands of years, beyond our own. Wow. Evidence collected and studied by this report indicates that there is apparently some kind of a process or a plan unfolding. They, whoever they are, continually demonstrate that the development of some kind of program is underway. And over the last 40 years, you can see this developing. You can see this process taking place. He's it's very clear question. for those of us who spent most of our lives looking at it. Evidence in this report leads to the conclusion that this survey or program has been going on for a very long time, possibly several thousand years. Wow. My personal view is it's been going on a lot longer than that. And I'll explain to you why I feel that. Captions are all messed up. Military intelligence analysis have concluded there did not repeat, did not appear to be a major military threat involved. The conclusions seem to indicate that if they were either malevolent or hostile, that there was absolutely nothing that we could do at that time. Well, wow. And I have to tell you very honestly, there's absolutely nothing we can do at this time. <laughs> Shape and NATO policy dictates that an ongoing study continues by the various military committees and that as many resources as possible by the major powers be committed to this matter. The entire subject is considered to be of the highest importance and extremely sensitive and that this committee recommends that the highest level of classification be placed upon this matter mm. if approved by SECURE to be above top secret above cosmic top secret which is what they did how many artists do you hear complaining about we don't make money off our youtube videos we don't make money off our streaming the label won't let me go i can't do this i can't do that yeah well so is the label mm -hmm. the bad guy or what they're not the bad guys just a system that was created many years ago that they're not changing
Mm. I don't give a fuck about you, me, him, him, or the other. Michael Jackson wasn't even making dollars off of his albums. Fuck. How, so, how, is, how does that work, though? I mean, to, to me, that's not in the music business. That sounds so weird. How, how is Michael Jackson not making money off his own music? Look this shit up. Who if takes you, that? The record label? The record label, it was, it's called points and percentages and royalties and shit that you get for the record. So, for example, if they were selling Michael Jackson record, Thriller, for nine ninety nine, right? How much money do you really think he made off of each copy of Thriller? And this is the 80s. And that shit sold the most records ever. He made a lot of money. But what you think the record labels made? They made all the fucking money. So it's like it's time for it to be reversed. If the artist is the one who everybody loves and cherishes, he should be the one getting the motherfucking finances. Yeah. Gotta figure it out. I didn't know till years later that the Bible actually says, teaches very clearly that we are not, this is in Deuteronomy, we are not to engage in what the Bible calls necromancy which is the word for communication with the dead, or the Bible calls it familiar spirits. And the reason why hmm. is because the dead know not anything, Scripture says. They're in an unconscious state of sleep waiting for the resurrection. And when human beings think they're communicating with familiar spirits, right. familial spirits, right. family members who have died, really what they're experiencing is contact with demonic forces that are coming into the situation and uh what did you do in your room when that depression came on the bed i i i laid there for a long time just terrified and trembling mm -hmm. and finally worked up the courage to just turn around and look mm. and there was mm. nothing there it was not a human being mm -hmm. there there was a dark spiritual force right there in my bedroom you know I went through hell no most people don't know this demonic secret about Kim Kardashian, but there's actually a really dark side to her. Check this out. Okay, this is either really cool or a little strange, but that's who you're doing business with, right? So... What is this? That is Marilyn's hair. So... So... What? You can clone her. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh my god, I'm literally going to do some crazy voodoo shit that I like. <laughs> What? And I channel her. This is so special so to me. Thank you so much. This is so cool. So cool. Good vibes. Wow. Good vibes. This That's is a dead person sleeping here. with me every night. Now, most people don't actually know that voodoo and witchcraft and demonic things are an abomination to the Lord. And they'll actually open you up to demons entering your life. If you're not about to open yourself up to demons, then type Jesus is King in the comments. She said some voodoo stuff. This one's gonna drive you crazy. If I asked you who you thought that was, matter of fact, pause the video and write who you think this is in the comments below. I don't know who that and is. And if you have an Abrahamic religion, I encourage you to scroll. I walk with all religions, but I am married to my mission and my mission is married to the truth. See, many of you probably said the devil but the interesting thing is this is this art piece was not made from the description of the devil okay in fact i would challenge you to find somewhere in your bibles your scriptures that describes the devil in the old testament or the new testament with horns and red skin. It needs to say it explicitly or it does not count. See, most of you without knowing misunderstand the devil. What people have been calling the devil, Satan, the great destroyer, the god of destruction for centuries, and you find this in different religions, different cultures, different spiritual systems, like the giant snake who swallows the sun whole in ancient Egyptian mythology, I mean, all of these entities that are normally depicted as reptilian, normally depicted as agents of destruction and chaos, they are all something that physicists call entropy. See, entropy normally refers to something within a system that creates randomness or chaos. 
So when you hear people say, man, the devil's trying to stop me from getting to my goals or right. the devil did this, the devil did that. I want you to, when you really hear people say that, notice that they're talking about an invisible force within a system that is causing destruction and randomness or chaos. Now, of course, a scientist isn't going to call that the devil, but it's the same thing, right? An invisible force that is consistently separating things within a system causing destruction, chaos, you know, thermodynamic type stuff. Excuse me. One of the reasons people have such a hard time in life is because they misunderstand the devil. That's why I'm breaking that down. And you think that praying is good. Meditation is awesome. But the real way to fight the devil is to create order within your life. That's what the philosophy of order is all about. The only way you That's can real. really deal with the devil, the God of destruction, is to become anti-fragile. I'm not going to go into depth about that right now because that's not what this video is about. I'm kind of just going on and on about this. But you can go in the link at the top of the page. There's a whole course that breaks down how to become your higher self and how to fight against entropy or what you may call the devil. So anyway, if the devil does not have horns of the Bible, does not have horns and red skin, where does these depictions of the devil come from? Well, to really understand a religion or a culture, you have to understand its history. And you have to understand its culture. I meant religion earlier, not culture, just religion. To understand a religion, man, you gotta get its to its it, its culture. Man. Come on, man. And Christianity comes out of a Near Eastern religion called Judaism. And where their gods came out of, their depiction of God and their perception of God comes out of is a lot of Near East uh, religious and spiritual ideas of gods. Their gods often had horns on the top of their heads because this represented strength. You had the horns like an ox, you were like an ox, right? This represented wisdom at times, but mainly it was strength, right? The most high in these Near Eastern religions had horns. This is very important. And the king of the gods in their spiritual beliefs had horns. I mean, you can also find this in, in North African um, spiritualities like in ancient Egypt. But you see, as this religion evolved over time and eventually created a different sect that eventually became Christianity, Christianity looked back at all these different gods, right? When monotheism became a thing where it was like, look, there's no other God but one God. Well, then you have to ask the question, well, what are all these other entities that people are worshiping? They decided on devils, demons. This is important because now the horns that all those different deities have become symbolic That's or real. attached to the concept of a demon or the devil. But this is where the irony comes from because the statue behind me is a depiction or an art piece that was made from the description of Yahweh. Mm. And this one hurts people. The mm. last videos I made on this, people got so angry and upset. But I'm going to try to break this down one more time. And then I'm done with it. I'm leaving it. I'm, I'm done with the whole horns conversation. Yahweh comes out of this Near Eastern culture. And just like the other gods were depicted with horns, so was he at times. Now, I am going to recite scripture and I hate doing this. Let me explain why. And I explained this in the last video, but I'm going to explain it real quick here. There are too many translations and disagreements about those translations and which one is right. So everyone has a different favorite Bible. It has nothing to do with, with what is the best translation, just about what is most familiar to them. People who read the Bible don't often don't know where the stories come from or what culture inspired these stories. That's real. The people of the Bible did not have your Bible. They, and, and they did not have your religion. All the religions today, as we know it, were not in specifically the Old Testament. And I don't perceive the Bible as you do. So when I'm researching Yahweh, I don't see the Bible as an exclusive place where I can read and learn about Yahweh. I can study other cultures that he was in. I can study other peoples who worshipped him and also come to an understanding by studying them because I don't perceive the Bible as this end-all, be-all spiritual book that decides what I can and cannot deem to be holy and divine. You know, I made a whole video on that in the Council of Nicaea, and actually, it wasn't the Council of Nicaea. 
But anyway, I'm not going to get into that. But for the final time, I will give you the scripture. And this time, I will give a screenshot. Numbers 22. It is God who has taken them out of Egypt. His horns are like those of the mountain ox. Of course, there's different translations. Again, the reason why I don't like doing this because because it becomes irrelevant in the comments where everybody's put, throwing out their own Bible. But I also use, I mean, I can also show you tons of statues and depictions of El, the God El with horns. The God that y'all claim is the same God as your God. I'm going to get to why that's actually not the case. But yes, horns. I also get a lot of my information from actual scholars. I study tons of biblical scholars, but I'll just give you some that I study probably use the most. Let's get the most controversial one out the way. Dr. Malakazi York, if you if you know why it's controversial, then I'm not explaining it to you. So you know. But very good source know. of information on the Bible. I'm only going to say Dan because I cannot pronounce his last name. And I don't want to disrespect him. Awesome scout. Francesca, I'm not going to say the rest of the name because I'm going to mispronounce it. I don't want to dis- disrespect her, but awesome scout. Two of them believe in God. She does not. So, and guess what? None of them probably would agree with nearly the majority of things that I say, but that's not why I study people and study what they put out. Not to confirm what I already believe, but to learn something new, which I encourage you all to. I mean, most of you don't even know what the Garden of Eden story was actually about. And how El wanted everybody to spread the Garden of Eden. And how Yahweh is the son of El, Elion, which is the God, God the Most High. And civilization was something that obviously was not permitted. And the Tower of Babel is an example of that. And how El eventually gives up and then divvies up the humans between his children, the God. And Yahweh inherits Israel. If you want a book that really breaks down the Garden of Eden story and what, what it really your means point? for us, how the Tower of Babel is, is a metaphor point? for the Matrix, and the Garden of Eden is a metaphor for hunter-gatherers, and how you can escape this Matrix I'm and live a free skip life this dude. with no mortgage, no bills, or anything, go read the book Fams. That's also in the link at the top of the page. I love you all. Peace. I was finna say, bro, because you was about to... <laughs> Human beings were originally built to spend 85% of our time outside. Mm. The average human spends less than 2% of their lifetime outdoors. So now what's happened when we've come indoors? We've stopped contacting the surface of the earth. Do you know that the earth is a giant magnetic field? Think about the last time that you had bare feet touching bare soil, dirt, grass, Mm. or sand. That's the last time that you discharged into the earth. And this Mm. is very real. By the way, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I took a voltage meter I, I plugged it into the dirt in the sand, into the, into the ground, and I held the other pole of this voltage. And what happened? And what happened? The producer said to me, take your clothes off. And I said no. And I left. And they told me they were going to burn all my music. And they didn't stop. They didn't stop asking me, and then I just froze and I just. I don't, re- I don't even remember. I understand this Me Too movement. I understand that some people feel really comfortable with this, and I do not. I do not ever want to face that person again. I felt full-on pain then I went numb what is happening and then I was sick for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks after and I realized that it was the same pain that I felt when the person who me dropped me off pregnant on a corner my, my parents helped because I was vomiting oh. and sick I've been being abused. I was locked away in a studio for months. Whoa. Whoa. Singers, when they sing songs, it's like a mantra. When you repeat a chorus over and over and over. So when a kid hears a song and he starts singing that chorus over and over and over, then you start to hear it in the alpha state and to the subconscious mind. So you start to become the song or mm. become what you're saying. Start to become it. Ooh, we.
People from every background, but they all have one thing in common. They're all terrified of Ronan Farrow. He's coming for you. He's coming for you. Talking of all you b****s, it was a big year for our movies. Shut up. Shut up. I don't care. I don't care. Many talented people of colour were snubbed in major categories. Um, unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about that. The Hollywood foreign press are all very, very racist. Fifth wow. time. And it's still more fun than this, okay? Spoiler alert, um, season two is on the way, so in the end, he obviously didn't himself. Just like Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> Shut up! I know he's your friend, but I don't care. Our next presenter starred in Netflix's Bird Box, a movie where people survive by acting like they don't see a thing. Sort of like working for Harvey Weinstein. You did it! You, I didn't! You did it! Whoa. You guys remember when Kanye said this, then disappeared? I'm not taking the responsibility as a man. That's why I say the song Closed on Sunday is the hardest record ever made. It's hard as the NWA record because it's talking about protecting your kids from the indoctrination of the media. Mm. The thousands and thousands of images that are fed to children by the age of six or seven and within those images, there are images mixed in that we don't know about as parents that are mm. purposely mixed in to lower the kids' superpower and esteem so that they can be more susceptible to consumption and feel that they need to consume wow. and become a part of the robotic numeric system mm -hmm. that controls so many, so much of the media. Did I, you know, I just had to say it like this. You can rewind it and then, and then do research what, what I'm talking say? about. Kanye be telling the truth, boy. Hey, the real Pharaoh's curse is that we haven't built a pyramid bigger than Giza yet. I mean, just look at it. This thing is massive and it's over 4,000 years old. Oh, but we do have a pyramid bigger than that and nobody's talking about it. The Great Pyramid of Giza is peanuts against the Buried Pyramid of the Sun in Bosnia and you will not believe what they found there. In 2005, archaeologist Dr. Samir Osmanijic realized, hey, this hill in the small Bosnian city of Visoko is oddly shaped like a pyramid. And shaped like a pyramid was an understatement. This hill has has virtually every characteristic of a real pyramid and we continue to ignore it. To start, it has four triangular sides. That's it, pyramid confirmed, we're done. Joking, but it's got even great slopes and corners that connect perfectly under the foliage. Along wow. with an apex at the very top, the exact shape of a pyramid, but oh, it don't end there, Johnny boy. It's also perfectly aligned to the cardinal directions, north, east, south, and west, much like Whoa. Giza. In fact, this one is even more aligned to true north than Giza, being only one three hundredths of a degree off from perfect north, whereas Giza Giza wow. is two sixtieths of a degree off. They even took EMF, electromagnetic frequency readers, to the top and saw readings of 60 times more of what is normally Whoa. expected on Earth. Another phenomenon that tends to occur at the pyramids, and the reason why is so mind-baffling that we'll have to save that for a future video. This hill was aptly named the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun, the first pyramid of its kind in Europe, taller than the Great or so we think. For reference, here's a timeline of all major ancient civilizations and structures built around the world. And here is where the Bosnian Pyramid would stand in that timeline. Excavations also revealed huge Whoa. blocks of seven tons each stacked with geopolymer binding, which is an ancient type of cement and perfect placement, on, along man. with perfectly landscaped terraces and other obvious architectural design, but oh no, these are all natural. Note that this was all uncovered up to a meter underground, as would be expected of a pyramid over 35,000 years old. And of course, the archaeological gatekeepers of the world insisted this is just coincidental, with some even going as far as saying Dr. Osmanagic purposely placed these carved stones here to deceive the public. And famed Egyptologist Zahi Hawass, who oversees most of the Egyptian pyramid investigations, even petitioning the Bosnian government to stop these excavations. Within hours of this international discovery, the story is swept under the rug and labeled a hoax. Well, over wow. 50 archaeologists around the world remained optimistic and actually joined Osmanagic's work in Bosnia, with virtually every single one of them who actually saw it in person, confirming that nature could not have formed these hills. Further studies revealing an entire underground tunnel system in the area, the longest subterranean complex of what? any pyramid in the world. Inside these tunnels, large stone blocks were found that clearly seem to be artificially created and placed. Other artifacts, like this giant round stone that no one can explain, and a whole bunch of other smaller ancient trinkets, statues, and even what appears to be a map carved into stone, were all wow. found around the Bosnian Valley of Pyramids, all dismissed as irrelevant or flat-out ignored Hell. by mainstream archaeology. Even the peak of the Sun Pyramid forms a perfect triangle with the peak 
peaks of the nearby hills, dubbed the Pyramids of the Moon and the Dragon. Another crazy coincidence, right? Wow. After much pushback, the government actually did grant Osmanagic the right to continue excavations. But with no official funding, the entire project depends on donations and volunteer work. These excavations are still going on, but after tourism to Bosnia slowed down in the last couple of years, progress on these pyramids have as well. As with anything, you could probably rationalize a completely valid reason for each of these discoveries, and maybe it really is somehow just the hill, so you think we're tweaking on this one, or are we onto something? Who's ready to get digging? Nah, that was a great video. That's a what would you see if you had no eyes? The short answer is nothing. You wouldn't see anything, not even black or darkness, literally nothing. But what does that mean? The ability to see would no longer be possible. So this question is sort of impossible to answer. But there are some analogies we can use that can help wrap our brains around it. One, for example, is like trying to see out of your elbow. Go, do it right now. Or try looking out of the back of your head. You, j you just can't. Another one is picture what you were seeing before you were born. Not exactly helpful, but I've got a better one for you. Even people that have been blind from birth or born with no eyes can't really fully answer it either. How can you ask them what do you see if they have no concept of what the experience of seeing is even like? Some right. people who lose their vision later on in life do claim to see darkness just because they have first-hand experience of what seeing feels like. Other than sight, we have four other basic senses, touch, hearing, smell, and taste. Now imagine some alien species has a sixth sense called, I don't know, glurking, which they did out of like an antenna or something. That alien and asks you, so what do you even glurk if you don't have an antenna? You can't answer that question because you don't even know what the sensation of glurking feels like. This entire question is a mind game similar to trying to visualize infinity. The best way to try to simulate it yourself is to close just one eye and look away from the closed eye. You don't really fully see darkness until you close both eyes, so while doing this, try to focus on what the closed eye is seeing. Your open eye is hogging all of your brain's seeing processing power and your closed eye just kind of doesn't see at all. I mean, if you're stubborn and try really hard, you might be able to convince yourself that your closed eye is actually seeing darkness, but this is really the best we can do if you want to know. Weird. Anunnaki, lizard people, and classified CIA documents. The prison planet theories got it all. In summary, humans aren't from Earth. We've been exiled here by another civilization for a pretty dark purpose. The infamous reptilian race that runs the world, but where'd this myth even come from? Listen to this. Hindu mythology had the Nagas, human-cobra hybrids. The Aztecs had a serpent-like god they called Quetzalcoatl. African shamans had stories of the Ninki Nanka, a race of reptilian beings. Hopi natives in North America have the Sheti, translates to Snake Brothers. Chinese, Japanese, and Korean legends have the Kappa. The Sumerians have the Anunnaki, a race of gods often depicted as reptiles who created humans as a slave race on earth. Whatever these beings are, brought us here to harvest our resources and our souls. When ancient cultures around the world that had no contact among each other have the same story to tell, that's probably not a myth, it's history. Even whistleblower Bob Lazar claims classified government documents saying, That were a container. That's how... That's how supposedly the aliens look at them. Containers of souls being farmed by these reptilians stuck on a planet we can't escape from. I mean, just a crazy theory, right? Mm -mm -mm. What in the fuck? All this for fame? Yeah. What do you do worse than that? Oh, I'm sure you heard. No, tell me. Well, I don't want to give too much. They do way worse than that. Like, okay, That's what's like the most extreme? What's the most heard. extreme thing? I can't say. That you know that's been done with other well you've seen the sacrificial parts family members are dying and stuff and it's like oh did they sacrifice oh absolutely they did mm. absolutely a lot of them especially the ones that don't got talent and you're wondering like how the fuck how they pop in like this okay so they came to them Whoa. and said hey just like you have a regular contract a music contract or whatever contract you have a contract with them and this is what you're going to do and this is what you got to give up and they don't even really know the extent to what they're giving up besides the sacrifice, obviously. But it's way more than that. And to get out of the contract, you see these humiliation rituals and things like that. You gotta do a lot to get out of that shit. But you gonna get what you want in the interim. Classic Illuminati. Come on. I was waiting for my second door death. Whoa. <laughs> Grab my phone, try to record it. Okay. To the bathroom and started knocking. So when I looked during the knocking, there was no one at the door. What? He in the room with his phone in his face, with the light on. I was, 
I ordered DoorDash because my sister and the kids are gone for tonight. Like, I'm here by myself. Oh, but, like, the kids had football practice, so they had to go do their own thing. Thank you. So, Bro, you hear people whisper. DoorDash, and I heard it knock. This is some, this is a, a fake video or something. Ain't no oh way. God, she's still fucking standing there. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Mm -mm. Have y'all seen that clip from the 2005 SpongeBob hijacking that is going viral right now on TikTok? You know the one, right? Where somebody hijacked Nickelodeon in the middle of the episode, Gary takes a bath. If not, mm -hmm. let me remind you. The clip starts off with Gary staring at a clock on the wall, seemingly nervous for bath time and waiting for SpongeBob to come home. But when he does, something is off. Whoa. Understand. You will, you will, you will understand. What? After this happened, the cartoon cut completely, and whoever the hijacker was started to say some really disturbing things. We will be friends once more, undeterred what? by all we've been through. And regardless of all that separated us, all that I'm longing for is an old friend. See you soon, Jerry. Sorry, Jerry. I, I don't, I don't know what you did, but I'm gonna see you soon. So what is this? This in the middle of fun. Oh. To Nicole and Anthony, I'm sorry. I miss you. I want to hear your funny laugh again. I want to stop hearing your screaming at night. When I see you at the edge of my bed and threaten that someone I know would hurt us. This is in the middle of SpongeBob. welcome you are sure not welcome now this video comes from the tiktok user jackie rooney 2011 and while no this is not a real life nickelodeon hijacking it's a really cool piece of analog horror that i wanted to share with all of you what? there have been very real tv hijackings in the past with quite dark backstories so if you ever want me to talk about those let me know so that whole thing was kept with this i thought it was a really cool piece of horror content that i wanted to share with all of you stay spooky friends that was capped the whole time. Three paranormal videos you should never watch alone. My daughter has informed me that there is a person in her closet that keeps smiling at her. Hell no. You gotta believe the baby. Open it. That's a person. There's a person? Yeah. Can you show me where the person is? She's scared For too. Sure. Is it is it Elsa? No. No. No? I'm scared. You're scared? Yeah. Okay. Is there can you show me where the person is? Uh, is it a is it a is it a kid person or a grown up person? Grown up person. It's a grown up person? Mm -mm. I want your Elmo. You wanna wear your Elmo costume? Yeah. Okay. There's a grown up person in your closet? Yeah. And it's right there? Yeah. It's my closet. It's your closet. Say, go away, That's person. Right. I'm scared. You're scared? Yeah. I'm a person. Okay, well, we'll get rid of the person. Oh, I see. I ain't seen Oh, shh. Pardon me. Hell no. Nah. I feel like something gonna jump out. <laughs> Let me back up. I don't trust none of this. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Det går 
Genau. Dann wollte ich nicht hier. Ich fahre mal. 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 Something is watching me. If you've had the feeling, you know what I'm talking about. I'm playing only up in my office. Something keeps passing by this window. What? I'm gonna. I just propped up the phone here, and I'm gonna play. Yes. What is that in your house? Nothing is there. Nah, that's crazy. If you're walking by my office, I want you to knock it off. Is that you making all that noise back there? Hell nah. This thing's always closing doors. I got chills. You right need to get out. I got chills Dude. right now. Will oh, you knock no. it off, please? Oh no. Oh no. Hell no. Nah. You gotta get out. You're you're gonna lock yourself in the laundry room again? You're not leaving? Bro, I got You're not gonna Things humans weren't meant to see. Whoa, that was crazy. Man cusses a chick to hatch while Vegas is open. That was crazy. I need some time to recover. A hatched egg open. the dark web's worst abduction. It seems this man was walking in the forest when he heard a noise. And as he approached, here's what he found. Calm down. Stop moving. Hey, shut up. This shut good. up. Calm down. Calm down. This what are you doing fake. back here? Is he your friend? Do you know him? You know him. Is he he's, so he's your friend? What's going on? Yo, speak. Yo, speak. speak, dude. What's going on? You gotta tell me what's going on. This is so fake. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, ah. Oh, you need help me. Come on. But you gotta quiet down if you, if you don't know him. He's right there. You need to help me out. Come on, please, man. Please get me out of here. You gotta hurry. You gotta hurry. Why? Is... That road is gonna end me. He's gonna end, He's gonna end you. What's with the camera? Are you recording? Yes. My camera's dead now. I'll show exactly what, what just happened to me. Come on, dude. Hurry up. All right, I'll, I'm gonna get you out. Wait, oh, he left an axe in the front. I can I can get you out with the axe. Straight fake. <laughs> Whoa. Bro, open the grave of a three-month-old baby after one month of burial. I don't 
Z, nothing like. If this happens to you at night, run as fast as you can. This woman was peacefully sleeping when suddenly something knocked on the door. Hell no. Nah. She tries to wake up her husband in vain. He doesn't wake up, and she sees something terrifying. You have five seconds to comment your name, like, and share the video with your best friend. The door opening by Did you see the door opening on its own? Her husband still doesn't wake up. Wow. And now the woman is panicking alone in the room. This woman woke up in the middle of the night with a very strange behavior. Whoa. Fortunately, her camera was able to capture it. Something paranormal what? entered this young woman's room and started pulling her blanket. And the rest is even more terrifying. If you've stayed until here, comment the word spooky to see who my most loyal this subscribers is crazy. are. Oh no. It's pulling her off the bed? Oh my goodness. No way. Hell no. Nah. All right, that was another creepy conspiracy theory TikTok video. Hey, if you made it to the end of this one, you need to drop real one for real. Real one for real, man. Hey, that was creepy, but it was a lot of stuff in there that was staged too. But it was a lot in there. It was a lot to digest. Also, like I said, man, I got a whole TikTok playlist. If you went to this stuff, man, sit back, relax, get some popcorn. And yeah, it's going to be a trip. But till next time, man, self-love and positivity. Fire Squad, I got you and you know it. Wow.